Hi everyone, and welcome to the Return Homestead. I thought I was done canning, but I'm not. Uh, my neighbor gifted me with three very large bags of carrots, plus we have carrots still out in the garden, and I'm going to be canning these. Now the way I'm canning them is not recommended by USDA, so let me put that out front. I'm comfortable canning this way. You need to do what's best for you and your family. The old ball canning book had water bath um, parameters for canning before the USDA got involved in the National Home Canners Association or something to that effect. And they changed all the rules. Now we live in a very large Amish and Mennonite community and they still water bath most things. I have water bath quite a few things. I make sure I boil them for 20 minutes uh, prior to eating them, but you need to do you. So today I'm doing a water bath pickled carrot. So come along. So I still have some peppers that I'm going to process, but I'm going to simply cut these up and put them in the freezer for use later. But I'm going to peel all these carrots and slice them to get ready for canning. Each recipe will call for four cups, so let's see how many I have. Now that all of my carrots well, all the ones I'm going to use are cut up. Now, depending on the roundness, how thick the carrot was, is how I cut them. So they're anywhere from a quarter inch to an inch. The smaller the carrot, the bigger the cut. Um, each recipe now will call for um, three cups of vinegar, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of pickling spice. Now I don't normally have pickling spice, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mustard seed, some peppercorns. I'm also going to add a little turmeric and salt. So that's my pickling spice, but you can do whatever you want to do. Feel free to change the recipe. The big deal in this recipe is going to be the sugar and the vinegar and that's what's going to keep it from spoiling. Carrots are low acid food, so the new recommendations recommend that you pressure can them. The old recommendations and the, the, the way that it's canned all over the world is by water bathing it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my syrup. So for each recipe, I have six. I need three cups of vinegar. So now that I have my three cups of vinegar per batch, I'm going to add my one cup of sugar per batch. Remember, I've got six batches going. And that just gets added to your vinegar. Okay, in the bowl, I have one teaspoon of salt 
her recipe. Now, like I said, you can use the pickling spice if you want, but this is where cooking is fun for me. I like to improvise. I like to personalize the taste to suit us. So I'm going to be adding some whole cloves and I'm not gonna <clears throat> put a bunch in there. Uh, that's five. Six, seven, I put in nine. I'm going to add some mustard seed. <clears throat> and I put a teaspoon in. I'm going to add a little celery seed. about a quarter teaspoon and then a little turmeric and I'm putting this in mainly for color it gives your canned food some really bright color and I'm putting in about a half a teaspoon and I'll go ahead and dump that into my sugar vinegar solution now I'm gonna add a few black peppercorns probably about a teaspoon Then I'm going to add some cinnamon. This is a Ceylon cinnamon. And it just really depends on what you want your carrots to taste like. And I'll throw that in there. Now that'll come up to a boil. Now once that comes up to a boil, I will add my carrots and cook them about five minutes. Now you don't want to overcook them. If you overcook them, your carrots will get mushy. So I'm gonna bring that up to a boil, add my carrots, bring it back up to a boil and cook for three to five minutes. Now that my syrup has come up to a boil, I'm going to add my carrots and set my timer for five minutes. So now I'm bringing it up to a boil once more. And then I will turn my heat down and simmer for about five minutes. My carrots have now simmered for five minutes and I'm gonna start loading my jars. I have my canner up here, it's coming up to heat. And I'm gonna just put the carrots in first and then I will add the syrup leaving one inch head space. I'm going to moisten a paper towel with vinegar and clean the rims off so that no sugar is on the jar, making sure that I'll get a good seal. And I'll start loading these into the canner. So now I'm going to go ahead and lower these down in there. And I'm making sure that the water comes up to the product line. And I'm gonna bring this up to a full rolling boil. It will boil for 20 minutes. The first batch is now out of the canner and I've got five more going behind me. I made six batches and each batch is to make two pints and I got a little over that. I ended up with 13. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and we'll give it a try until we see you on the next video. Thank you, God bless, and bye-bye.